Monday, week eight, final full week, off out on a run. Andrew Huberman podcast in the ears. It's cold as hell, so I'm not going to waste anyone's time. Let's get going. 7k into the run. Been a nice, slow stay one, this. Don't want to do anything with too much pressure at this point. Just got to focus on not being injured for the run. I am still having some knee pain in my left knee. But it comes and goes as I'm running, which is a positive sign. I reckon right now, I'm just gonna carry on training as normal. Keep up my rehab for the next week and a half. And then, fucking fill myself up with paracetamol on the day. Just hope I don't have to walk too much of it. 10K, smashed. Left knee feeling a bit fragile, but the legs are still moving. Let's have it. One week to go until we're hitting the final few days before the run. And we are gonna fucking smash it, let's have it. Food and a good bit of recovery. If I can fit it in, I'm off to the pub after this. Got my Crocs in sports mode, ready for the absolute sesh that's about to go down. Come on, let's go. Finally getting cycle riding. How are you not hungover? Got some movement, work the systems, but without any impact on the knees. Oh Jesus, can't even speak. God, this makes me look ginger. So for my thanks this week, I am doing a bit of a cop out and I am going to thank my entire family. To start with, there's my family over in Ireland. And I think what I'm doing here goes to show the importance of that family. My visits over to them in Ireland are some of my happiest memories ever. And I think every single one of them has played such a key role in that. And then throughout all this training, their support and kind words have just been so invaluable. And they have been phenomenal in helping us get these donations. They've been sharing it to all of Liv's friends who have all donated so much and it's honestly been amazing. I couldn't thank them all enough. Then there's my immediate family. So my brother, he's, I mean, he's always a great source of motivation. He's been some great support. And I'm sure on the day he's gonna provide some very, very needed help on the runs because I'll need all the company I can get and I'm sure he'll be amazing at helping there. And then there's my parents. I guess they are kind of the pinnacle of all this. They have been insanely supportive. They have helped me out on everything I needed so that I could work a full-time job, train for this and have a social life. They've helped me out with everything else. They've been amazing at dealing with me whilst I've been moody over how shit my training has been these past few months with the constant injuries and just never reaching what I needed to reach per week. So, I mean, that that deserves big praise in itself because I can promise you I'm not fun to be around some days. And then I guess most importantly, they've just been there, which is such a key part of all of this. Just a constant loving and supporting presence that just keeps you going throughout all of this. They've been phenomenal. And honestly, I could never thank them enough for what they've done for me these past few months and past year, forever, really. They're, they're amazing. I guess ultimately, throughout this period, I've said many times, usually on my Instagram, about how apparent it has been to me since Liv's death, about how important it is to tell the people you love that you love them. And I hope that everyone in my family knows just how important they are to me and how much I love them. So that's the thanks for this week. A huge cop out, but a very important group of people to thank. Training is officially done. On to race day now. 10k smashed. Ah, oh, fucking light. 